Welcome back to the Leshy channel. Over the past couple of months, we've been going full send with the pellets that go boom from a good friend Brian over at EGW. First, we shot him at targets. Then we mag dumped a torso to answer the lethal question, of course. And then finally, a whole lot of fur to see the effectiveness on small game. The short answer, these 22 cal pellets that go boom are pretty dang effective. But you know what, it got me thinking. How much more effective would a 25 cal version be? These are a 26 grain hollow point design that are ripping around 960 feet per second out of my 450 millimeter Leshy 2. These have about 2x the amount of boom juice in them. So let's see how that translates to fur. As always, let me slip into my lab coat here and get these safety glasses on because class is now in session. These things are incredibly loud at impact, so I definitely deployed the uh, good enough for government work when I zeroed this thing in my backyard. But I dial it in here as we go, and as you'll see, it doesn't really matter because these things go mega boom. Here it comes. Oh, man. Now that shot looked a little bit low, but it still anchored this one as if we watch it again here in slow motion you'll see after it goes a little bit low although i still think that's a kill shot it went full frontal and it went through his chest all the organs right out his brown eye all right so this one hits the money spot and it gives us our first look at the damage a 25 cal exploding pellet will do Well, I'm pretty sure the nose is not supposed to high-five the forehead. As uh, slowing things down here, yep, it's confirmed. Impact, boom, and instant KO. This one is our first chipmunk of the day, and its shot was a little bit high, but you got to remember a chipmunk kill shot target is like smaller than a nickel, so it's kind of relatively speaking here. Uh, but man, this one just absolutely canoed its dome. I made a small little adjustment to the scope, and just a few minutes later, his buddy came to see what I think he thought was a fireworks show. And let me tell you, if you clicked on this video curious to see what a 25 cal exploding pellet would do to a chipmunk, well, here you go. Whoa, that looked like a nine mil. Holy cow. All right, so we're gonna need to perhaps freeze frame this to really unpack and evaluate the effectiveness of this round. Let's watch this together. Okay, so what you're seeing here is the explosion and every bit of the front end of this chipmunk going in a thousand different directions. So yeah, what does a 25 cal exploding pellet do? It makes a chipmunk do that. Man, it's been chipmunk palooza this year. Just one after another after another. And this video is no different. So one thing for sure though, these peanuts, these things must taste pretty darn good to these little guys. Because they got to navigate a minefield of their mate's body parts before they get to the table for one. Oh. Another head explosion. Man, these pellets are something else. I'm gonna show this. I'm gonna kind of turn this into black and white a little bit to hide some of this. Look what happened to this thing. Yeah, it just like took out a section of its head and scrunched it together and made it look like Sid from Ice Age. Did 
this little chipper turned broadside just as I was about to uh, pull the trigger. So I gave it an extra second to uh, just kind of settle in. And I was just going to kind of put it right in the middle, to be honest with you. Bit of a neck shot. And I just pulled it just a little bit. But watch. You can see. Yeah, you can see it right here. Even that is surprising. Just looks like it snapped right over the top of it. Oh, man. All that smoke is so crazy. But watch this. I don't think I have to turn this into black and white because it's not very bloody. But look at that path. Isn't that crazy? Nuts. This thing was lights out. Got a little lucky on that one, but that's okay. Better be lucky than good. This is the last chipper in this video, but I think you'll understand why I had to put this one really deep into the video. Oh my, whoa. Man, that thing turned a chipmunk into, uh, looks like a creature on Stranger Things. Holy mackerel. Oh man, ever since putting all these GoPros down range a little bit, it's really kind of helps to understand what in the world was that? Oh my God, that was his head. That was wild. Well, what I was about to say was with all those cameras down range, you miss nothing. And from a scientific educational perspective, we really get to understand what happens when a 25 cal pellet hits on impact and then goes boom. If you like shots like this, you should probably watch this video next.